entrepreneurship isn't for everybody, but you, you have to do your own assessment, whether you're slinging insurance or real estate, or you are opening an ice cream shop or whatever, like what, what's your capacity of money versus time? Because we have agents on the broker side that maybe aren't full-time. Maybe you're a stay-at-home mom or you're a part-time realtor, part-time insurance agent, and your prerogative is to spend 15 hours a week working, making 45 grand a year. I can't conceptualize that. That doesn't make sense to me because there's no such thing as too much money. But uh, if that's your prerogative, then go after that goal. If your prerogative is like us to be maniacs and scale an agency to a couple hundred million dollars, yeah. then go after that. But I think you have to set the precedent one of what you actually want to accomplish uh, when you come in either into our business or any business for yourself and really declare one, what you want out of it. And two, what your capacity is for what you're going to invest for time and money, right? At the same time, because yeah. you could say, I want the million because that's, you know, on TikTok, a million dollars apparently is like, you know, 50 bucks now. Everybody should be making a million dollars a year. Right. Um, how much are you willing to invest or give up in order to get said million? Um, or yeah. how much are you willing not to do to make 45 grand a year, you know, and, yeah. and anywhere in between? Yeah, you you can pick your level of success, right? I mean, there's a lot of people too that are over ambitious, in, in my opinion, where the agents that say, "I'm going to come on full time, I'm going to quit my job, put my back against the wall." That can work, sure, but you also have to balance it out too. If you got, if you're married and you have kids, you got a mortgage, and you're used to that reliable paycheck, that's probably not the best idea until your commissions are equal to or at least greater than what you're currently earning for a consistent period of time. Then you can make that leap. But that's the beautiful part about our practice is that, just like you mentioned, you can just sell a few policies here and there, start building it up. Yeah, are you going to give up weekends and nights? Sure, you're going to give up time and family time, and you're going to have to sacrifice in order to have that. But if you want that freedom of owning your own practice, that's what you're going to have to do. And if you don't mm -hmm. want that, that's fine too. You can work for a company and just get a paycheck every week and go home and do what you want to do. That's why there's people who are engineers. They absolutely love it. They just clock in, clock out. I have good friends. They're a moderately successful and that's all they want. They would never want to do anything extra. Like, nope, I nine to five, I go home, I disconnect. I got the weekends. I get a 401k healthcare and I get two weeks off. I am happy. Wonderful. Do whatever you are happy with, you know, yep. but it, it's and you know, even with this business, you can just do part-time and still be incredibly happy if you choose to. But most of the people in here, they're very ambitious and it's a, there's no ceiling. Right. Cause that's what I was limited in before working for people. And I'm an absolute terrible employee. I'm like, I'm going to go to the lake this weekend. No, you're working. No, I'm not. I'm going to the lake. So you can fire me if you want to. <laughs> you know, I do whatever I want. And that's it. And, uh, but to have that freedom comes a, a sacrifice too. Right. I had to give up nights, weekends. I mean, there was a time frame uh, for a, about eight years. And the first eight years in this, I worked seven days a week. It drove my wife nuts. And then I promised her when we had kids that I I would I wouldn't work on Sundays. And then we got a house and moved it to Texas. I was like, okay, I won't work Saturdays or Sundays, but maybe a little bit here and there. And yeah. then I'll, and then it came down to like I'll be home by five. Well, now it's six. And well, sometimes I got to be home a little bit later. I got to go on this trip. And you know, there's always sacrifices, but those sacrifices allow us to have the life and the vision that we've created together and that we want to have because you can't have the best of both worlds. You can't sit on the couch and watch Netflix and then make millions of dollars and be able to help a lot of people. There's always a give and a take. All the successful people, they're incredibly busy and they have to give up family time and they miss out on certain things. And that's sometimes part of it. Like I couldn't go to one of my daughter's uh, uh, not trampoline class, a gymnastics class. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, I'm not able to go. I have a really important meeting. She goes, well, why can't you just uh, cancel the meeting? I go, I can't cancel the meeting because I already committed to it. And I will commit to come to your next one. And then that way I, I will block that. But I already gave my commitment. I need to do that because you, the reason why you can go to these classes and go to private school and we get to travel everywhere is because I have these prior commitments and I have to sacrifice some things, but then we get a lot more out of it. Would you rather me come to the gymnastics class, but not go on, uh, go to Florida and stay at a resort for two weeks? Oh no, we want to go to Florida. Okay. Okay, great. Well then there's a trade-off here, right? So I'm trying to teach my kids now that trade-off uh, aspect and try to get them to learn about how money and everything else works. Yeah. <laughs>
Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's, it's really fun because you get to help a lot of agents out. You get to see them grow. And if you're an agent watching this and you want more success, you can reach out to Pete directly or myself. We all work together as a team. We have contracts with each other. It's all one big team. But you just have to realize if you're in this practice and you want to make it big, what are you willing to give up? Just like what Pete said, well, you have to give up something. There's always a give and a take reciprocal reaction that you're going to have to do. And if you're not willing to do it, that's okay. Uh, one of the hardest things in business and life in general is knowing yourself. Are you that type of person that wants 